and making a point on judicial overreach, retired Chief Justice of India, Justice J.S. Verma, who also headed the first commission on the Rajiv Gandhi assassination, has said some recent interventions too can be called judicial overreach. He was speaking to NDTV Sonia Singh on Show Your Call. I have someone else who has some questions to ask you, one of the brightest legal minds of our country and now leader of opposition in the Rajya Sabha, oh, Ar Arun Jaitley. And uh, <laughs> Mr. Jaitley, thank you for joining us tonight. And I know that uh, you wrote that uh, strong article with your views after the re recent Supreme Court verdict on the Salva Judam case. And you've made this point earlier of judicial overreach. Uh, what would you like to uh, say on that today uh, with uh, Justice Varma in the studio? The first is in some of the recent judgments, I have found that uh, the rationale being given in those judgments, including the one that Sonia referred to, including this black money judgment, doesn't seem to be enforceable legal rights, but somewhere there is an ideological framework. How is uh, left-wing extremism to be tackled? How is black money to be tackled? Now, getting into this ideological course, and obviously ideologies are not enforceable by courts and the judges getting into this area is not uh, going to be a very uh, 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 correct uh, position to take. And therefore, I'd like to know from Justice Verma as to what his views on this issue are. I've always said, and I am also not very happy with uh, some of the things which are happening, which are being uh, termed, and I would say with due respect, um, in my view, rightly, mm -hmm. being called judicial overreach. Now, the test which I always applied or kept in mind while I was functioning in that capacity, and which I would like to, which I would think is fairly depictive of what, what people call the Lakshman Rekha, and that is this. Now, you see, the power of judicial review or rather judicial intervention in any matter, any given matter, the judicial intervention must be based on either an existing juristic principle or a newly evolved juristic principle. Then only it is legitimate judicial intervention. Right. And you see, I'll give you existing juristic principle everyone knows because you see that has been going on for long. And evolved is, a, a typical example is continuing mandamus, say, mm -hmm. in the Awala case. Mm -hmm. Now, that has become a part of legitimate judicial process. And the test is that this is something which has precedent value to be followed in similar situations elsewhere. Yes. Not an ad hoc order which you make in one case which has no precedent value. So, um, I, I think um, Arun is right in saying that some recent judicial interventions, for example, something which happened earlier also, sealing the order which the Supreme Court made of sealing in Delhi. Mm -hmm. Well, that I thought was cre clearly judicial overreach. Mm -hmm. Now, today also, now I'll give you another example. In the Hawala case when we are doing, there was a repeated request to constitute an SIT chaired or headed by a retired Supreme Court judge. Mm -hmm. I said it's a statutory function and we judges are trained only to adjudicate and not to investigate. So even in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination matter, when I was heading the commission, I refused to permit expansion of the terms mm -hmm. to include conspiracy. And uh, uh, everyone knows, Justice Jain took it up and very tended. Right. So now that is, according to me, that would be judicial overreach. You, all that you can do is compel the concerned public authority to perform its statutory or constitutional duty by the process of monitoring that till the uh, work is over. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free ndtv.com/apps.